So this, yeah, again, page 107 is titled Epilogue, The Disappearance. Quote, if you want to get in touch with Rayo after reading the preceding chapters, I'm sorry to say that I can't help you. Rayo disappeared in 1974. I don't even know whether he is now dead or alive. We can only speculate about what might have happened to him. Perhaps one of his underground constructions fell in on him, or maybe he was eaten by a bear. Or he could have abandoned Vanu and returned to a conventional lifestyle. Or maybe he moved overseas. Or perhaps he just decided that he would be freer if he broke off communication and he's still out there in the mountains, living free. If it were anyone else, I would guess that this complete silence over so many years must mean that he is dead. But Rayo is different because his goal always was to become invisible to coercers, meaning mainly government. He might have come to believe that this required that he become invisible to everyone. I know of only one tantalizing clue that has a bearing on this mystery, Rayo's last known letter. This is dated February 14, 1974. In it, he writes to his correspondent, quote, My thinking has undergone major changes in the last several months on interfacing, alternate economics, or interrelations in general. I, too, am becoming very dubious as to the value of all libertarian club involvements. We do not intend to use the libertarian club in the future as an avenue for gaining non-anonymous friends or associates, end quote. Since that time, from or concerning Rayo, no one I know has heard one word or the least rumor. He has completely disappeared. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there you have it. Kyle was actually, you know, I was, I was kind of curious. And one of the articles we'll cover here in a moment, uh, it actually mentions Rayo's age at the, at the time where, where this guy met him. And uh, uh, if my math is correct, and I, this is some pretty simple math, so I'd say it is, uh, he'd be about 82 years old today. So, I mean, it's, it's honestly not impossible that he, you know, he's still around and kicking out there, you know, uh, uh, somewhere, somewhere in the world. Uh, sure, it's, it's probably unlikely, but uh, stranger things have happened. And as was mentioned in, the, uh, in that, that epilogue that I just read, uh, yeah, <laughs> Rayo was uh, quite a formidable, formidable individual. So uh, he, uh, it's, I guess it's possible he may be alive. What do you think, Kyle? Well, I, I like to be optimistic when it comes to certain things like these. And so, you know, unless some sort of emergency happened to him or his heart gave out or, or what some people have speculated in some of their articles regarding what happened to Rayo, unless there was an emergency of some kind, my own personal subjective preference would be that uh, he's, he very well might be alive today. And that's what I prefer to go with in terms of speculation. Yeah, yeah, same here. I, I hope, like, it, you know, I mean, he, he talked about, he, he wasn't, uh, and we'll get more into this, he wasn't like an indigenous or prim primitivist and just disregard technology altogether, so who knows, maybe we'll come across this podcast. <laughs> Probably not, but, but anyways, we, we can hope, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and who knows, I mean, maybe he would be willing to uh, go public again. I mean, you never know, miracles do happen every once in a while, and that, that would just tickle me pink something oh, fierce, God, because yeah. <laughs> I changed my political ideology, or shall I say, anti-political ideology from uh, being a polyarchist uh, to, to being of the new one because, because of his book, Vanu, The Search for Personal Freedom. That's how much of, of a significant, well, impact it had on my life. Hey, it's Jane here, one of the hosts of the Vanu podcast. If this excerpt intrigued you or you think you might be interested in the subject matter, come give us a listen. We release podcasts every Tuesday, and you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. Just search for The Vonnie Podcast and find us at vonniepodcast.com.